So today let's talk about envelopes and all the very many things we can do with them. I have a bunch of envelopes here to demonstrate some ideas and you can use these ideas for making junk journals or for using a journal, so creating like a journal page. So I have my journal here and some envelopes to demonstrate. So there's a couple of really great things about envelopes. The first thing that's great about them is they are very, very versatile. There are so many things we can do with an envelope. The other great thing about envelopes is how accessible they are and how easy they are to get. So I have a bunch of envelopes here and most of these I've gotten at thrift stores or secondhand stores. And usually anytime I go into a secondhand store, they have a box full of cards and envelopes. So I usually just go through them and pick out any that are kind of unique looking or any that have nice colors. Or sometimes I'll just pick a plain old envelope and add it to my collection. So I have heaps and heaps of different envelopes. I'm sure you guys do too. Another really great and easy and free way to get envelopes is just to recycle them from your mail. So anything that you get in the mail or any junk mail, that you get, you can repurpose these envelopes as well. They are free and they are really fun to use. You can also, of course, just buy brand new envelopes at many different shops like dollar stores or any kind of stationery shop or post office. And they're really easy to get, they're really easy to come by and there are so many cool things we can do with them. So let's talk about some of those ideas. I am going to start with the most obvious ideas and I'm just gonna work my way through some of the less obvious ideas. So the first most obvious way to use an envelope is to use it as it is, don't do anything to it. And we can glue it down onto a journal page, anywhere on page and use it as a little pocket. So this is the most obvious way I think to use an envelope in journaling, but it always turns out different. Every page you use it on, it's always gonna look different. So, so it's always a really fun way to use them. It adds an instant pocket to your page, some interaction, and it gives you more space to write and to layer things on top. So you can glue this anywhere on page. But my personal favorite way to add them to a page is to just take an envelope and to apply adhesive to the flap of the envelope instead. And then you can glue the flap over the edge of the page. So you can glue it over the side of the page like this and that will give you an instant little fold out. You can also glue it, of course, over the top or off the bottom of the page, and that's gonna give you an instant little fold out on your journal page. An alternative to that is just to apply glue on the outside of the flap and just to glue that directly down on the page. The only real difference with that is that you don't have to glue it off the edge. So you can glue that anywhere on the page and you can always conceal the flap part by, for example, taking a bit of paper of any kind or a photo or something and gluing it over uh, the flap part. So that gives you a little fold out flap pocket on the page, anywhere on the page, and it kind of ends up blending into the page because once you cover over this flap and you decorate the rest of the page, it's less obvious that it's there. It's a nice little extra element to add to the page. Another way, of course, you can add an envelope to a page is just by sticking it in between the pages like this. So I would take some double-sided tape and I would put a strip of double-sided tape on either side here. And that will essentially just become an extra page in your journal. So you'll just have like a little envelope page in your journal where you can tuck things inside and you can also write or glue things on top of the envelope itself. So those are just a couple of ways to glue or attach an envelope to a page in your journal, just the way it is. Now, another thing you could do is take an envelope and you could just cut off the flap or you could even just fold it back and glue it down. So pretend that I've cut it off though. And that will just give you like an open pocket, like a regular pocket on your page. And of course you can glue this anywhere on the page or you can keep it loose, uh, paper clip it or tuck it into a pocket somewhere else. So that's just a really easy way to create a little pocket for a journal. Now I'm just gonna take this envelope and seal it closed. I'm just gonna put some glue instead of licking it. So seal the envelope closed as it was intended. Now what you can do is take some scissors and you can cut either along this edge or along this edge. I'm gonna cut along this top edge. So that's gonna give you, again, another little pocket. So if I was to tuck this flashcard inside and I could glue this straight down again onto a page anywhere or I could just keep it loose in the journal somewhere and then you could decorate this or you could write straight on top of it or glue a photo on top of it or whatever you like, and that will become a little pocket in your journal. You could also attach this with some washi tape and it could become a fold out again. So if you wanted to change the orientation of an envelope, that's a really easy way to do that. Now, an alternative to that is just to cut 
diagonally. So if I was to cut from the corner down like this. So the only real difference with that is that it gives you a little peek at whatever you tuck inside. So whatever you decide to put inside this pocket, it will give you a little preview and it makes it really easy to pull it in and out. So that's really the only difference. Now I'm gonna take another envelope and again, I'm gonna seal this closed. And now if I'm to take my scissors and cut this in half or roughly in half, then I've got two little pockets or two little tuck pockets from the one envelope. So you can then glue these down onto a page or attach them onto the page, however you like. And that gives you two little tuck pockets from one envelope. And I'm gonna use one of these to demonstrate the next idea, which again, if you cut diagonally across from the corner or roughly from the corner and have a little corner piece like this, you can also stick this into the corner of a page. So any corner that you have, you can glue this down, you can decorate it, but it sort of becomes part of your page. It's not a very obvious pocket, but you can tuck something into it as well. So you glue this down onto the page. Then you've got this handy little non-obvious pocket in the corner of the page. Now, if I take a couple of envelopes that are the same or the same size at least, what I can do is again, put some adhesive on the flat part of the envelope. So I'm gonna put it all over this flap. Then I can take my next envelope and I can glue it down over the top of that. So the flap is what attaches them to each other. And I can keep adding more envelopes to this as well. Then you've got this little fold out with pockets. So this is really fun and you could keep this loose in your journal and decorate it and then fill it up with things or you could stick it down into your journal using one of the methods we talked about at the beginning of the video. So. If I wanted to, I could glue the flap of this over the edge of a page and then I could have this cool little fold out thing that comes out and I can fill all these little pockets up with bits and pieces. Now, again, if I take two envelopes that are the same or the same size, and this time I'm gonna use some double-sided tape. So I'm going to apply the tape along three edges, the sides and along the bottom. You can also use glue to do this if you don't have double-sided tape but double set of tape is a really handy way to do this and keep it really neat. Then I'm going to take my envelope and I'm going to glue this front side to the other envelope's front side. So glue them together with the flaps on the outside. This will give you a triple pocket because you have a pocket on either side, so here and here. And then you also have a pocket down the middle here. So again, you could attach this into your journal uh, with some washi tape and create a fold out. You could attach one of the flaps down over the side, or you could just keep it loose and tuck it into a pocket or something like that. Now the next idea, if we take an envelope, so just got a regular envelope here, then if we take something round, or it doesn't necessarily even have to be round, any kind of shape, I'm going to use a round shape and I have a die cut handy. That's what I'm gonna use to create a circle with my pencil, but you can just use a cup or something. So trace a circle or whatever shape you want. We're gonna create a little photo pocket or like a little photo frame. So I've got my circle there and I'm going to use that as a guide to create a little frame. So this part, you have to be a little bit careful. I'm keeping my envelope open to do this and I'm just gonna carefully poke a little hole in the middle here. I'm just using my tiny little scissors to do this at first so that I don't mess it up. I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of room to cut. I'm gonna take my regular scissors now and I'm just gonna cut out this circle. And I'm only cutting through the first layer. I'm not cutting through this back layer. So let's cut out that circle. I find that it actually helps to go kind of inside the envelope to cut. And this isn't going to be perfectly neat, but I don't think it really matters. So um, you can cut it as neatly as you want or as neatly as you can. It is a little bit fiddly, but it's worth it. So there, I've cut this out. It's not perfect. And if I was off camera, I'd spend a little bit more time making this perfect. But you can see I've cut out my little circle shape. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to seal this edge up now. You could leave it open and use that as your opening, but I'm going to have mine open along the top. So I'm going to seal that up and then I'm going to cut this edge off 
along the top and then let me find a photo to show you what this will look like you just can slip a photo or whatever you want inside the envelope and there you have this little frame and again it doesn't have to be a circle shape you can make it a square or whatever shape you like and I just think that's a really cute little way to use an envelope and you can of course decorate all around this as well however you like and we'll talk about some different decorating ideas at the end of this video now the next idea something you can do with an envelope so I've got this cute little blue one you can take a doily or a linen printable or whatever you have that's circular I have these linen printables in my shop but you can also use a doily if you have a doily and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this over the flap and make this look a little bit more fancy and you could fold this over or you could cut it off I'm just going to fold mine over and essentially all we're really doing with this idea is just making the envelope look a bit more fancy so it's kind of a decorating idea but I think it just adds so much to an envelope so and there you have an envelope that just looks a little bit more decorative so when I stick this down in my page or use it in a journaling spread or in a junk journal page it's going to look a lot more decorative another sort of variation to that would be to take an envelope and instead of using a doily or a linen printable or something like that you could just take like an index card or any kind of paper and you could glue this over the flap of the envelope as well so when I stick this down in my journal I can write on top here and then I can open this up and I can stick something inside I could also put another piece of paper here so the flap becomes hidden by journaling so next idea I've got this pink envelope and I'm just going to take this little bit of scrap paper and again I'm going to apply glue this time though on the outside of the envelope so on the outside of the flap here and then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to glue this down on top it doesn't have to be perfect because when I flip it over I'm just going to cut off the excess so that's an easy way to make it nice and neat and to make it fit the flap of the envelope so glue it and then cut it instead of cut it and then glue it and then what you can do is you can tuck the flap that we've now decorated inside the envelope and you can glue this down as well you line the inside of the envelope and make it look a little bit more decorative so then when I tuck something in here it's got a pretty pattern behind it if you're handy with a sewing machine you can add a stitch down the middle of an envelope like I have here and that's just going to give you a double pocket so I can tuck something in this half and I can tuck something in this half so maybe I could put photos in here and journaling in here um, but that's just a really easy way to divide the envelope and give you more than one pocket these CD envelopes I got on eBay they were really really cheap on eBay and I just wanted to share these you probably used them before but similar to the photo frame idea you don't really have to do anything to these envelopes they're all ready to go you can tuck a photo or whatever you have inside here and you've got an instant little photo frame and whatever you put in here is really really protected you can then glue this down over the page or down on the page however you like and you have this really cute little photo pocket now let's just talk a little bit about junk envelopes or recycled envelopes that you get in the mail so these are awesome because they're free and you can recycle them and put them to good use in your journals and the fun thing about these types of envelopes is the window that they come in and you guys have seen me use these in my journaling all the time and I'm not really going to give extra ideas because you can use these envelopes for all of the ideas we've already talked about but I think they're a little bit more special because they have that window so it has that extra element of a of like a little peekaboo spot where you can see what you put inside and I think they're really beautiful for photo frames again so if I tuck a photo in here you can have a little sneak preview at that photo or use it as a photo frame but they're also really cool for when you do journaling and you tuck it inside you can have a small little preview that there's something written inside there the other thing I love to do with these is just use them as paper and you can do this with any envelope as well you don't have to use it as an envelope you can actually just open it up and use it as paper and these junk ones you can see inside they have all of these different patterns inside that you can use but sometimes I'll just glue this straight down onto a page or I'll leave this place open so I can tuck something inside and have a little have this little preview pocket but then I'll write directly on top of this paper because I think it has a cool pattern on it and I'll often do the same thing with envelopes that I get that have handwriting on them or any envelopes that are yellow I don't know why but I like envelopes that are yellow 
So I'll often, I've, I've just hidden my address, but I'll often just cut this open or I use it as a pocket in my journal just the way it is because I like looking at other people's handwriting. But what you can do is just cut it open. So cut open the sides and just open it out and use it as paper. So if I open this all the way out, just cut the edges open and open it out as a sheet of paper and then glue it down as paper into your journal. And you can just write straight on top of that beautiful yellow paper or whatever color that your envelope is. You can just write straight on top and it keeps that little sample of someone else's handwriting as well, which I always think is so special, as well as these stamps and the little postage stamp as well. You don't necessarily have to use them as a pocket. You can also take these junk mail envelopes and actually flip them inside out. So you can carefully undo the adhesive and then you can flip it around and reseal it so that the pattern side is on the outside and the white side is on the inside. So it looks a little bit more decorative in your journal. Now let's just talk about a couple of really quick decorative ideas for envelopes. I know we talked about a few already, but I think the easiest way to decorate an envelope is just to put stickers over it. So this one, I just use this label sticker from my shop. It's a printable. And then these little faux stamp stickers I got on eBay ages ago, they were really, really cheap. And I just stuck them on and I think they just look really, really cute. And I can write something in here. And then when I attach this into my journal, I can put some journaling or something inside the envelope as well. So stickers are an awesome and easy way to decorate envelopes. With this next envelope, I think this turned out so pretty and it's so simple. It takes about one minute to make. If you have an embossing machine and an embossing folder, you can run an envelope through an embossing folder to imprint a really pretty pattern onto it. So I took this green envelope and put it through an embossing folder and now it has this really pretty floral design imprinted into it. And I think it just looks so elegant and fancy and adds that really cool texture to your envelope and then to your journal as well. The next idea is to paint on envelopes. So I did some really quick little paintings. They're nothing special. So I did some little mushrooms and some landscapes. And you can of course paint whatever you like or you could paint them a solid color or do some flowers or do a frame it doesn't have to be a painting of anything in particular but this is a really fun way to personalize your envelopes as well and to decorate them using some mixed media so i think they turned out really cute i think i'm going to put this little mushroom one into my journal today so those are just a couple of really easy ways to decorate envelopes now what if you don't have an envelope or you want to make your own using any kind of paper that you have or that you would like to use there is a really really easy way to make an envelope and you can take any kind of paper that you have i've got this matte paper on the back it's actually got this disney disney images on it so i'm going to put the disney images on the outside of the envelope and the matte paper on the inside so you can take any kind of paper of your choice and this is a really great way to make an envelope with absolutely no measuring or anything like that so basically we're going to fold this. We're not going to fold it in half because we want to leave a little bit of excess. Whatever excess you leave, this is going to become the flap of the envelope. So make sure you leave at least like an inch and a half. So I'm going to fold this down so you can fold this over again. And now you can see this already looks like an envelope. All you have to do now is just add some adhesive on these edges. So you could stitch this if you're handy with a sewing machine. I'm just gonna use some double-sided tape now and just put this along the edge here and then refold it. And there you have a very easy and very quick envelope to make. So you can then tuck whatever you want inside here. And I love this method just because I don't have to measure anything. I can take any type of paper that I have and I can literally just fold and stick it in like two seconds and create a really cute little envelope. So those are just some of the envelope ideas I have off the top of my head. I'm sure there are so many more ideas that I haven't even touched on. Those are the most obvious ones to me. And I feel like that was like 20 different ideas. I think envelopes are one of the most handy, most versatile and most accessible supply we can use in our journaling and in our junk journal creating. There are literally so many different things you can do with an envelope. And because I shared so many different ideas just within this video, I've created this quick little reference graphic for the these ideas that I talked about today. So if you want to have a quick little reference to these ideas, you can just pause the video, take a screenshot, or if you go to my Instagram page, I'm also going to share the graphics over there so you can save the post and you can use that as a quick little reference. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some ideas. I know I'm feeling really inspired, so I think I'm going to go take some of these envelopes and put them into my journal now. Again, if you have any extra ideas to share, please leave them in the comments down below so you can keep sharing the ideas with each other. I really hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you in my next video.